We've already seen that it's possible to create messages in Max MSP that contain a single piece of data. I have three examples here. Uh, each of these is a message box uh, with a single piece of data inside, and they're all connected to a print object so that if I send these messages, we'll see them in the Max window, like so. So each uh, message contains one single piece of data. Um, we've also seen uh, that it's possible to send several pieces of data in a single message uh, as a list, separating the values uh, by spaces. So here um, I have uh, a message with two values, two and four, separated by a space. That's a list, and if I send this to the print object, we see that we get one single message that has those two values inside. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can split lists up uh, into individual messages if we want to, uh, and also how we can do the opposite and combi uh, combine several individual messages into one single list. We can use uh, the unpack uh, object to split a list message up into its component messages. So uh, here, uh, in the example we've just seen, we have a list uh, that has two elements. Uh, so if I give the unpack object two arguments, so space and one zero and a space and then another zero, so that I have two arguments, that then uh, creates the uh, unpack object with two outlets. And I can see that this outlet is labeled element one of list, and this outlet is element, uh, element two. I can then send this uh, list message to the unpack object, and it's going to unpack it and send element one of the list to this outlet here, and it's going to send element two of the list to the other outlet. Uh, in order to see that happening, uh, I'm going to create two separate print objects and label them A and B so that we can tell the difference in the max window. I'm going to connect um, outlet, this outlet here to print A and this outlet here to print B. And when uh, I send the message, uh, what we should see is that print B displays the value 4 and print A displays the value 2, like so. Uh, alternatively, uh, I could use uh, number boxes to achieve uh, the same thing. If I just want to see that uh, those values are getting unpacked properly, so uh, I'll disconnect those for now and connect each of the outlets to a number box. And then uh, when I send the message, we'll see that element one, the number two, gets unpacked to here. And element two, the number four, gets unpacked to here, like so. We know uh, already that the LCD widget uh, outputs lists um, for the coordinates of the mouse pointer. Uh, let's just remind ourselves uh, what that looks like. So uh, in the max window, what we're seeing now are uh, lists. Every time the position of the mouse pointer moves, we get a new list uh, that has the X and Y coordinates of the mouse pointer. And so uh, if we connect the LCD object up to uh, the inlet of the unpack, What we're going to see uh, is that the unpack object is going to unpack uh, the x coordinate of the mouse pointer into this number box and the y coordinate, the vertical position, into this number box here. So instead of having both of those values in uh, a single uh, list message, I now have each of the values for the x and y coordinates. Uh, separately um, and therefore I could use each of those values to control two separate things. Let's say I wanted uh, this one to control the frequency of one oscillator and this one to control the frequency of another for instance.
Now that example used uh, two elements in a list, but I can uh, I can use unpack to unpack as many elements of, as I want. So if I increase this list so that it has three elements, and then similarly uh, recreate the unpack object so that it has three arguments, notice that I now get a third uh, outlet on the unpack object. And if I create a third number box, just so that I can see what's happening, I can now send this three element list message to the unpack and we'll see two, four, six in the three uh, individual outlets, like so. Conversely, let's say uh, that I want to take these three uh, individual uh, messages and output their values all at once in a list rather than individually. Uh, so at the moment, all I can do is output one, two, or three as individual messages. However, uh, I can use the pack object. Uh, I have three individual elements that I want to pack into the list, so I'm going to give the pack object three arguments. I get three inlets this time, which are the individual elements to be packed into the list. So if I connect all of these up like so, and then send the output to the print object so we can see it in the max window, what's going to happen is I'm going to send each of these messages individually. And when I get to uh, the leftmost message, the pack object is going to send uh, the values out packed together in a list. So when I get to this uh, message here, we should see uh, a single message with the list one space two space three appear in the max window here. Like so. Notice that uh, at the moment, returning to uh, the unpack momentarily, uh, we're sending integer numbers in a list. Uh, in other words, whole numbers with no decimal point. However, if I change these values so that they're floating point numbers, in other words, numbers with a decimal point, clear the max window and send the message again, we still um, only get integer numbers uh, in the results. So uh, here we should be seeing 2.3, but we're seeing 2 instead. Here we should be seeing 4.5, but we're only seeing 4. Uh, it's got rid of um, the fractional part of the number. Now, in order for this to work properly, I also need to create the unpack object itself uh, with floating point arguments. And I do that uh, simply by adding a decimal point after the arguments. So that now we'll see that when I send the message, we see the correct values in the max window. The same thing applies uh, to the pack object. Uh, if I change these values so that they have uh, decimal points in them, um, like so, because uh, we've created the pack object with integer arguments, in other words, with no decimal point, if I send these values, uh, what we'll see in the max window is a list which says 1, 2, 3 without the uh, point 0.5 parts, like so. Uh, now I can rectify that uh, by creating the pack object with floating point arguments by adding a decimal point, so that now if I resend these messages, we see the correct values. Suppose I want to uh, pack together a number of words into a list rather than numbers. So perhaps uh, yes, no, and maybe. If I try to do this, uh, because we have floating point arguments here, it's not going to work correctly. When I get to the leftmost element, we get uh, a list that says 000, zero, zero because the pack object is expecting floating point numbers to be sent. Now, I can rectify this by giving uh, what in Max are called symbols uh, as the um, arguments. Uh, now, that can actually be any character, any text character. I'm just going to choose the letter S so that now, if I send these in the correct order to the pack, 
we see a list whose elements are the pieces of text which we put in the original message boxes.